Hi there, this video is going to show you how to set up an animation file where you want to add audio track, an audio track to your animation. So let's go ahead and get started with Photoshop. I go File, New, then I'm going to go to Film and Video, and I want to click on the HDTV 1080p preset, and we're going to click Create. Next thing I'm going to do is I want the timeline to show down below. So I need to go to Window, scroll down to Timeline, and make that a little bit smaller. We've got two options down here. Okay, When we're dealing with adding audio tracks, we need to choose the video timeline. Okay, Let's say you forget about this and you accidentally create the frame animation button and that's okay too because when we have frame animation selected you can create your frame animation and you can still convert that to a video timeline and that's not a problem you can click on the button in the bottom left here and that will convert from a timeline video timeline to a frame animation timeline another place you can go is you can go here and you can click convert to video timeline. So I didn't mean to confuse you there, but um, you know there's different ways to, to make animations in Photoshop, as you're aware. Down at the bottom of the timeline, it says audio track. This is where you are going to click on the plus symbol. And when I click the plus symbol, then I can find an MP3 file which is an audio file, um, and I previously downloaded this from, a, from a, a website that gave me a free license to use it. And I click open, and there you will see your track right down there. Okay. Now remember that when you have a video timeline, you can use these layers called layer, video layer, new blank video layer, and this creates a time sensitive um, layer. So I can go ahead and draw something. Let's just draw a circle. Then I can move to the next frame, draw a circle again, move to the next frame, so on and so forth. And that's how you can use animation techniques for a video layer. Okay, and you can remember that it's a video layer right over here. It has that small little icon with that film strip. When we use a video layer, you can also turn on onion skins. Now, I taught this in my class a while ago. Click Enable Onion Skins. And now, when you move to the next layer, you will automatically see kind of a, a transparent shape from the previous layer. And you can change how those onion skins work by going to onion skin settings. Okay. Um, so let's go back and let's go ahead and play that from the beginning. Cool. And you'll see a quick animation that will play to that music. So when you're all done with it, you can go file, export, render video, and now that video will show the animation, but will also render the audio track into your MP4 file. I hope this helps figure out how to add an audio track on a video timeline. Thanks for watching.